Okay, we are ready. Welcome back. Good evening to all of you. Good evening. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. How have you been? How was your day? Okay. We are ready to start now. Yes, we are going to wake a little bit for the rest. And then we are going to start. Okay, I'm checking the the attendance. Let me see how many people do we have now. Uh, Fifteen. Okay, we are going to start now. Okay, Adriana del Carmen. Present teacher. Welcome. Ana Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Escobar. Present.
Selena? Present. Diana Stephanie? Present. Eric? Present. Francis Elizabeth? Present teacher. Jose Jonathan? Present. Juan Carlos Rivas? Not here. Laura Carolina? Present teacher. Okay. Maria Concepcion? Present teacher. Maria Elena? Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Mayra Verolice. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Misael. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. Jenny. Yesenia Lisette. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Welcome back. It is a pleasure to see you again. Okay, um, yes, I'm gonna do today. Okay, this is PD Comfort number five. We are class in third week of classes in this module and PD Comfort uh, five provides suggestion using expression of certainty. But at the same time, uh, we are going to make a review about the previous class and also uh, we have something else that we didn't finish yesterday. We are going to continue doing today. But I guess, first of all, uh, we can remember what we talked yesterday. The sub chatting in order to see your faces. And I would like to hear from you some, some idea related with the previous class in order that you refresh your memory. And also, I remember that I explained some uh, part in L1 in order that some of you can understand better uh, the ideas. When I, when I say L1, I'm, I'm talking about our mother tongue Spanish, right? Okay. Okay, tell me, what, what do you remember about the previous class? Let's make a review. We're talking about the matrix. What is it? How to use it? Okay. 
We talk about decisions. Okay, how to make decision. What else? We were like making a, uh, an analysis based on the options and aspects or qualities to take into account. Okay. Something else? We were talking about certainty expressions. Okay. As you can see, every one of you uh, got different points, and that is really important that you share it because maybe at the moment that we talk about something, somebody was thinking in something else. And at the moment that we mentioned here, you realize and you say, well, I, I don't remember that part. And you are going to look, take a look in the, in the material and then you are going to remember, right? For well, that reason is why we make a review to connect all the knowledge that we need to know. And as I told you before, uh, in this level, you need to create your own vocabulary because maybe there are a lot of words that are new for you and you need to connect, to get familiar. And if you want to learn it, uh, you need to repeat it at least 15 times. And also you can start using it not only just repeating the word, but also uh, into a sentence or a phrase or a paragraph. And that way you are going to, to get familiar with the word. Okay, somebody else want to say something? About it? No? Okay, I remember uh, I told you to resolve uh, an exercise I'm going to show you. And we are going to solve it now. Yeah. Um, related with the distribution channel. It is uh, on page number 14. Exercise number three, building vocabulary, master distribution option to their benefits. Let me show you, in order that you can remember. If you don't have it there, you are going to take a look here. Okay, I'm talking about this one. Exercise number three, building the vocabulary master distribution option to their benefits. And we have online sales, catalogs, and direct mail, retail, outlets, and wholesalers. And you got the concepts there. I don't know if you got enough time in order to resolve it. Just let me know. If you got the answer now, or you need time in order to resolve it. What 
what can you tell me? What about the third one? While you must pay a wholesaler in the retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailer. Just tell me if you need time in order to resolve or if you have it. Let me see your faces, I don't see you. Okay, do you need time to, to, to do it or you, you already have it? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Okay, let us compare with somebody else. Uh, I'm going to create a breakout run and you are going to share your idea with somebody else. And, uh, and later on, we are going to discuss right here before to start with the new topic because I told you to solve it. But maybe I know you are really busy in your job. Okay, I'm going to give you five minutes. I don't know that you can do it now. Is the person with uh, I assign you doesn't accept the invitation and going to somebody else? Here we go. My goodness, I have to move it. Let me see. Selena. I'm here. Six. Let me see here.
recording is being recorded. My goodness, automatically happen. Okay, here we go. Um, I hope you have enough time in order to discuss with your colleague. And now let us resolve. If you want, we can follow the order that you have in the in the headline or it's up to you we can start in the order that we have the concept okay who want to start reading remember that you are going to re to include the phrase or the words at the left and you are going to read what we have at the right too Hello? Okay, let us try. Um, Mario Ernesto, could you please resolve the, the third one? The food, let me check, let me check. Yeah, yeah. The first one said, what you must pay a wholesaler and retail commission, this option should be able to get a lower rate with retailers. For me, it's retail outlets. And what about your partner? My partner is Maria Concepcion. Maria, do you agree with uh, Mario? No, teacher. Um, yo le comentaba él que yo no estuve en la clase ayer, así que yo no he entendido mucho de eso. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Somebody else ha has a different perspective? A different answer. I have wholesalers. Ah, okay. What about you, Escobar? Um, I agree with the Conrado. Uh, what are sellers? I, I, I think when Zaira, the fresh, the fresh. Okay, okay, full seller. Okay, full seller is the one. Because uh, if you, if you take a look at the concept that we have there, while you must pay a full seller, and retail your commission. This option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Okay. Let me try to solve it here.
Okay, what about the next one? Let, let me see. Um, Ana Lilian? Hi, teacher. Could you tell us the what do you think is the right one in the second? You pay. You can stock inventory and fulfill order yourself or use a fulfill me service to have have you order to handle your orders to handle your order um only s s s confused um in between only sales uh, online silence and on, on, online sales only online sales and catalog and direct direct may may que me trabaje may <laughs> pero but, but if you have to choose one which one could be uh, online sales Sales online, online sales. sales. Okay, let me ask to somebody else. What about you, Yesenia? Lisset? What do you think? Do you agree with Anna Lillian? Uh, I think that his catalog. Catalog. You, you, you think it is it's not what she said, right? Okay. But what about you, Mayra Beralice? Do you agree with Anna Lilian? Mm, for me, teacher, catalog and direct mail. Ah, okay. Wendy, what about you, Wendy? I don't know, teacher. It's confused for me. It is confused? Yes. Mm. For me, it's retail outlets. For you, it's retail, okay. What about you, Eric? I think it is retail all let's do. Really? Okay. Let us read again. Okay, it says you can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. Take a look at the, the last words. Or use a fulfillment service to handle your order. What about if I tell you that it is online sales? But later on, we are going to discuss. Okay, the third one. You may have chains or independent retailers sells your products for you. What about that one? You may have chains or independent retailers sell 
your product for you. It's catalogs and direct mail. I think it's retail outlet. Ah, okay, that is right. And makes sense. Okay, take a look at this. You may have chains or independent retailer sells your product for you. And we can we can do it uh, using outlets. And the last one, which one is the last one? It's very difficult to know which one it is. Pero teacher, en la, en la dos, ¿cuál era la correcta? The Me second one? La duda. <ríe> si era online sales o el otro el catálogo. Ah, ok, ok. Let, let me show you because... Pero a ver, I got it here. I saw what I was, uh... okay, you got it there. Which one is the, is, the, is the last one? For that reason, I said that it's, it's really difficult to know which one it is. I was talking about the, the previous one when we say retail or outlets. You may have chains or independent retailers sell for your product, sell your product for you. We can do it in outlets. And what about the last one? Which one is the last one? It's catalog in direct mail. Okay, but really difficult. Okay, you can take order over a toll free number or website. You RL you provide on the mail piece or you can have customer may order request to you. For that reason we call it, it is catalog and there is mail. Okay, try to make an a screenshot because um, I guess that you are going to have some question related with this in the platform. And talking about that, I don't know. I, I would like to know if you are doing all the activities. Yes or not? In platform teacher. Yep. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay, I don't know if you have any questions apart from here. Just let me know. If not, um, we are going to continue. Catalog is co es como lo de Avon, vender por Avon en catálogo, ¿o no? Ok, ok, let, 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 me, let me go back here. Well, right now, um, 
as you can see, when we talk about e-commerce, uh, you can find not only as uh, printed like Avon or something like that, uh, when you buy something in, in Amazon, for example, you can see the catalogs there in a digital way. And you look all the, the, the equipment or, or thing that you want to buy. I don't know if you got what I'm saying. If you want to buy something, uh, imagine you need to buy something in EPA, for example. You can do it just, uh, you don't need to go to the, to the place in order to buy something. You just can take a look at the different item and the characteristic and then and you, you buy it. And also you can do it in different, uh, like a frown, a siman, you know? And right there you can find uh, what you are looking for. I don't know if I'm, I'm being, I'm clear with that. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Okay. Another question? No? Okay, let us continue talking about Okay, hold on a second, please. The file is really heavy. Okay, we are going to talk about exercise number four. We have it in the material on page number 15. How to express comparison with us, object the us and not as object the us, okay? Before to uh, see the material, I'm going to show you something. in order that you get some ideas related with this. Okay, let's talk about the current use of the comparative to us and us and the negative in order to, to give you some, some ideas. Okay, what if, what is? As and as comparison are used to differentiate characteristic or similarities of two or more objects. You need to take into account these characteristic similarities of two or more objects. As used, as and as is used to find a similarity between two objects. 
not as, and as is used to indicate a specific difference between two objects. And we have some example. We have car A and car B. And we can say car A is not as big as car B. And also, uh, right here, we, we have uh, boy A and boy B. Boy B is not as fat as boy A, you know? What about if you if if you see this cow? Cow B is as large as cow. Cow A, there is a mistake right here. Cow A is as large as cow B. If you take a look at the flowers, you are going to find out that flower B is as beautiful as flower A and C. We are comparing uh, more than two, right? Well, I'm going to stop here because I need to show you the material. In the material is really clear. Let me show you. Okay, we have it here, how to express comparison with us and us and not us and us. Look at the example in the box, then complete the exercise below. When we compare people, objects, or ideas, and we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way, we use the form as plus adjective or adverb plus a. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. Can you see it? How we, we, we make comparison here? I'm going to read again. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. And also we have a, a second example. The company adds as much value to distribution as they can. This is, uh, we are talking about positive. At the right side, we have something in negative. My distributor are not as fast as the ones you partnered with. The shipment transportation from my distributor is not as effective as shown in their advertising. I don't know if you uh, at this moment got the idea how we are going to use it. But before we go to the exercise number five, I, I need uh, you tell me if you understand how we are going to use it. It's not. I, I can explain you and give you more example related with this. Okay, let me let me show you something now here before you. Okay, let us use pictures in order that you can uh, have a better idea. And then we are going to discuss about. I don't know if you can see it.
Yeah. Take a look. Take a look at the picture. Take a look at the pictures. Okay. Use us and us. Superman and Batman. What we can we say about them? Okay. Take a look about this. How we can compare? Somebody wants to do it? Let us use a series of strict. Um, Superman as serious as Batman? Something is missing. Um, Something is missing there. You miss the bear B for the B for Superman is. Oh, sorry. As serious or as strict as the bad man? You got a picture now? Yes. Oh, and later on, I'm going to give the rules. What about this one, rubber and sand? What can you tell me about then? The, the other other example, teacher, but no, a screen. screen. This one? Yes. And then we are going to, I'm sorry. Thank you, teacher. Screen, screen news. Okay. What about this one? Hello? Robert E. Pero no puesto la otra cosita. Is Dream. Tired. He's <laughs> <Okay. laughs> as lazy as Robert is as lazy as Sam. Okay, take a look at the structure that we are going to use, and then we are going to apply it about what we are talking. Okay, what about this one? Peter and Frank and Ben. How can you create it? Peter and Frank are helpful as Ben. Okay, let us see. Bingo. What about this one? Hello. Diana is as firing as safe. Let us see. Oh, also we can use the words trustworthy, understanding. Diana is as caring as Stacy. Yeah, we can say now. Okay, what about this one? Hello? Uh, Susan. Is not sociable 
uh, sillón. A ver, let us see. Could be also outgoing, friendly. Susan is not so sociable as John. Okay, let us see this one, the last one. What about steer and Tom? No idea? Steve is not so complaining as Tom. Okay, then go back to our material again. <laughs> ah, okay, I'm going to show you this then if you want. Yes, because I need that all of you understand this. Ah, okay, muñequitos. Así como vamos a estar pensando cuál va, como que lo mantiene más despierto. With muñequitos. Okay, hold on a second, because I have a lot of info here. I need to stop this one. This one too. There is a big problem with when, when I have a like two or three open here. Different files. Okay, I got it. I'm sorry. Okay, let us do it this way. Okay, make a comparison with us and us. Who wants to read it? Hello? Who wants to give me a hand in order to understand this? Okay, I'm going to do it. Suppose an animal shelter in your city had invited people to meet some animals to see if they wanted to make an adoption. You and a friend both love dogs. So you visit the shelter and go straight to the dog's area. You hold and play with some of the dogs. You soon realize you like two of them equally. Benji and Cody. Your friend asks what you think of the two animals. You say this. I like them both. Benji is as playful as Cody. Okay, I need that you understand this example clearly. Let me know if you got it. Hello. What happened there? Tell me. Hello. Me is not like animal. Excuse me. Me is not 
animal. En Spanish. A mí no me gustan los animales. Ninguno. Ah, okay. You you want to say that you don't, you don't like animals, but you can say I don't like I don't like pets. Yeah, say it. I don't like. I don't like. Pet. Pet. No, me, no me gustan las mascotas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, but what I want that you see is the example. Remember that we are talking about uh, two different people. For that reason, say, suppose an animal shelter in your city had invited people to meet some animal to see if they wanted to make an adoption. You and a friend both love dogs. It is, see it right here? Suppose. Yeah? It is just to give you the example. Okay, based on this, try to create your own because right now I need to check out the attendance again. I'm sorry if I'm going slowly uh, in this topic, but, but I need that all of you understand it. If you already got the message, be patient. But I need that. Of course, uh, I'm attending the different uh, type of learning. As you see, some of you uh, feel really good when you see a picture. That means that you are a visual learner. But uh, other, as soon as I start talking about this topic, you say, I got it. Yeah? But maybe another one are waiting for something else in order to understand exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, let me check out the attendance again. Ah, no sé si me comprendieron lo que les acabo de decir. Sí, sí. Yes, teacher. Only one. Ana Lilian, what about you? Yes, oh, comprendí que tenemos que crear un ejemplo. Yeah, no, no, talking about the previous explanation that I gave. Relacionado a la explicación previa que di, que dije que tomando en cuenta los diferentes estilos de aprendizajes, algunos se identificaron y comprendieron de lo que estábamos hablando a través de las imágenes, porque son visuales. Otros, tan pronto yo presenté que íbamos a hablar del tema, dijeron, ah, es easy. Entonces, eso depende de los tipos de aprendizaje que cada uno de nosotros tenemos. Algunos somos visuales, ¿sí? Otros necesitamos tocar los instrumentos para poder saber los objetos. Otros con solamente, eh, son auditory, son, son que con solo oír aprendemos rapidito, pero otros tenemos que oír y escribir. Es una mezcla. Ok, Adriana. Present. Okay, thank you. Ana Beatriz. Present, teacher. Ana Lilian. Present. Okay, so what? Present. Selena. Selena. Diana. Present. Eric. Francis. Present. Jose Jonathan. Present. Jonathan, okay. Juan Carlos. Present. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan Carlos. It's not here, okay. Uh, Laura Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, uh, Maria Concepcion. Present teacher. Maria Elena. Present teacher. Mm. 
Mario Ernesto. Present teacher. Mayra. Present teacher. Saira Marlene. Present teacher. Misael. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Jenny. Jenny. Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, se les llama varias veces por cualquier duda. Si ya no responde o se ha levantado en el momento que paso la lista, por eso se hace tres veces. Hi teacher, I'm sorry, I'm driving because my dog did a mess, so I have to go to the hospital. Yeah. Right okay, okay. Okay, don't worry. Okay, going back, going back again, what we are talking about. I don't know if you got the example, if you understand exactly how uh, we are going to create sentences using this type of comparison. Okay, let us continue. When the scene we are comparing are equal in some way, we can use the word as. Notice that the as appear twice in the comparison. What is the meaning of the word twice? Hello? Two times. Okay. ¿Comprendieron los demás? Yes. Appear twice in the comparison. There is a... Uh, Clear. Okay, there is something that we, we uh, that they call it everyday grammar. I used to get some information. Uh, They talk about qualities and compare how something is done. For example, okay, take a look at these qualities, as plus adjective plus as. Okay, let us start with qualities. When, when we compare equal qualities of two people, places or scene, we use the comparative structure as plus adjective plus as. Okay, try to, to, to have this structure. And you're not please listen to the doctor sample again i like them both benji is a playful as cody how to do with the word twice benji is as playful as cody pero a pesar que tenemos las dos palabras repetidas ellas no significan lo mismo qué significa la primera this one as Hello? Tan. Ah, Benji es. Tan. What about playful? Como. Okay, tan and como. And what is the meaning of this playful? Juguetón, ah, entonces dice que Benji es tan juguetón como Cody. ¿Se dan cuenta? Ok. The speaker use, uses the objective playful to express the equal quality of the two animals. The sentence structure goes like this. Ojo. Subject plus be bear. But when we say be, be bear, it, it is better, I guess, it be the be form. 
quizás sería mejor decir be form porque puede ser is, puede ser are, depende, plus as, plus adjective, plus as, followed by a noun or a noun phrase. And you have it here, the subject, Benji, the verb be is, is, as, adjective, as, as, playful, as, and right here we can say a noun, Cody. For example, Benji runs as fast as, fast as Cody. This is the structure that you need to, to take into account. Esta es la estructura que yo necesito que tengamos en mente. Okay, in the example sentence, the subject is Benji. Ese es el sujeto. The verb be becomes the singular present form is is. Then there is a comparison part. As playful as. And finally, there is the noun Cody. Okay, now suppose you are at a restaurant. You are trying several different dishes. You think two dishes are equal. Tasty. Listen for the same structure in this sentence, comparing food. The pasta dish is as tasty as the rice dish. Here the subject is the pasta dish. Followed by the beaver is. Then comes the comparison. Después viene la comparación. As tasty as. And then the noun phrase, the rice dish. Okay, I don't know if it is clear. Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, let us talk about inequal qualities. But what if the, the two dogs you met were not equally playful? Or what if you did not think that the two dishes were equally tasty? How could you express these ideas using us? In an equal us, comparison about the qualities of people, places, or scenes, we use the word not. Listen to the negative form and take note of where not appear. Benji is not as playful as Scotty. This is the negative way. Notice that not comes immediately after the be verb. Okay, notice que la partícula not va justo inmediatamente después de la forma de el be, que sería is. Benji is not as playful as. Okay, I guess um, I'm not going so deep on this. Um, okay, let us go back to the material. Here, in what case you not so in in other case is not us. What what is different? Let, let me let me try to if I got your your question. In example, okay, uh, is not so. Ah, okay. Right, is not so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other example, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the in, in the previous one, I, I mentioned it, and I and I show in that way, right? Yeah. Um. Well, in fact, I don't want to to get confused because uh, when I see the material, I saw that right here we are using just the negative form. But uh, what I can tell you is that. When we use it in that way, it is kind of similar. 
but I guess it's yeah uh, in the level that you are it's gonna be easy using only us us and us and not us and us and not and not so okay hold on a second let me go back again Okay, okay. What, what I want to to tell you is 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 this that maybe uh, in the next module uh, we are going to have uh, this topic because when when I see it, I, I I was considering to to include both of them, but as I told you, I don't want to confuse you. Uh, we can use it maybe in the same way, but in a different level, you know. But in this case, talking about, let me show you again the material. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to go back as I told you. How you are going to uh, to get this the difference between both of them. Let me go back a little bit. Then a second, please. Okay, I need to open this file, I got it here. I got it, ah, I got it, okay, hold on. Maybe you are talking about the picture, right? Wendy? Sorry, teacher? You are talking about the one, the, the example that I show you in the pictures. Mm. Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. I, and I got what you are asking me. But let me show you, okay. yeah, because uh, in that way you are going to to clarify the idea. Okay, I got it here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you are talking about this one, right? Yeah, in this case, take a look at the, the example. Susan is, Susan is not so sociable as Jean. 
Right here, we are now uh, looking at similar characteristic, you know? And also, uh, it is la, it is it is also the same. Like like if if we say Susan is not as sociable as John, but uh, but we need to be careful about how we are going to use it. As I told you, uh, at the beginning, I was thinking that in the topic was included in. Uh, boss structure but at the end i realized that only what we need to see it is just us and us maybe in the in the next model we are going to in much we are going to to go so deep and the difference between bosses then but in this case it is like the same right I don't know if it is clear, your question. Not clear? For me, no. Okay, uh, as soon as we uh, continue working, I'm going to look for more example in order to, to, to share with you, okay? Okay. okay. Hold on a second. Let us go back again to the material I told you. Okay, uh, with the, the, inform the previous information, uh, we are going to work in exercise five. What are the words to make sentences? And we already have, have an example. Help you, help you produce as retailer, as wholesaler, much profits. Retailer, help you produce as much profit as wholesaler. You are going to work in exercise two, three, and four, and five. And then we are going to compare and discuss in order to see uh, how is the right way that we are going to create it. I'm going to give you like five minutes in order that you can do it. And then we are going to compare with somebody else. Try to follow the example in order to uh, understand it and keep in mind the structure that we are going to use it because we have it here okay we have it here we use the form as plus objective or adverb plus as try to keep in mind and also how we are going to use it in a negative way okay go ahead and try to do it now
I don't know if you need to make a screenshot. If you don't have the material, you can do it now.
Did you finish? No yet. No yet. Okay. Okay, let us compare now. I guess uh, you already finished, right? Okay, who wants to resolve number two? Uh, um, I, uh, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Okay. The shipment will, will be, be delivered as soon as, as soon as the payment is received. Is received. Okay. As not. I mean, this is number one, but with capital letter, right? Remember that the moment that you start writing a sentence, you need to capitalize. Desde el momento que comenzamos a escribir una oración. Iniciamos con letra mayúscula. Even though right here we don't have it, right? Okay, what about the second one? Uh, the third one, I'm sorry. The third one, product transportation is as expensive as storage capacity. Okay, product transportation 
is as expensive as storage capacity. Okay. Which is the right way. Number four. Number four. Some channel distribution the strategies are not as efficient as other. Okay, repeat again, please. Yeah. Three, verdad, teacher. I know, perdón. Three, three sería o four, teacher. Four. Four, okay. Some channel distribution strategies are not as efficient as other. Yes, that's right. And the last one, number five. Selling or digital courses through a store is not as profitable as distributing them online. Okay, selling, okay. selling our digital courses through a store is not as profitable uh, as distributing them online. Okay, I guess, uh, okay, try to remember these sentences because uh, you are going to have some exercise related in the platform related with these examples. And I don't know if you are able to see, uh, I share something in the chat. Let me know if you can, uh, if you can access about in, in the document. It is possible to download it or not? Hello? Just let me know if you can do it or not. Because I've been trying to, to do it uh, in the WhatsApp group, but it's really difficult for me to do it now. For that reason, I do it right here in the chat. Me confirman, por favor, si pudieron descargar lo que les envié. Hola. Can you hear me? Yes. Me no, teacher. I have nothing in the group. Excuse me? I don't have anything in the group. There's no, no, no. the document. No, it is right here in, in the chat or soon. I, I can.
Okay. I don't know why. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, I'm going to share it later on. As soon as we finish, I'm going to do it because I can do it now. Okay, um, in order to continue, we are going to talk about the next activity. That is number six. You are going to have uh, some minutes in order to talk about, you are going to discuss the distribution channel from the metric use in the previous lesson. What you are going to do is just to talk about some disadvantages and advantages that you can identify. You are going to remember what we talked about the previous class. And let me create the groups now. Let us see how many people are 17. But the problem is that um, we have some people here, but at the moment that I send the invitation, um, I don't know why they don't get in, in the breakout run. Okay, let me try to do this in a different way. Okay, here we go.
I'm here. Estamos perdidas con qué es lo que nos ha dejado que va. Porque en Zoom a mí no me cargó nada. No. No. Ok, déjeme seguir. Eh, no entienden las instrucciones. No entendemos qué quiere que hagamos. Porque justamente oh. usted mandó algo a Zoom y a mí no me pareció nada. ¿sí? No, 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 no. Ok. Como no pudimos hacer la actividad de ahí, les dije que okay, íbamos a trabajar en la actividad número 6. Donde dice, in groups, discuss the distribution channel from the matrix used in the previous lesson. What are the disadvantages and advantages that you can identify? En la clase de ayer, hablamos sobre una matriz. Hablamos de filas y columnas, ¿cierto? Sí. Ajá. Yo okay. no sé. <risas> ah, que usted no estuvo ayer, ¿cierto? Oh. Estaba... Sí. Aún, pero aquí estoy. Ah, ok. Ok, entonces, eh, we, we talk about uh, this discussion matrix. Es una técnica. Pero al final, lo que necesito es que le encontremos cuáles serían las ventajas y las desventajas que tiene referente al distribution channel. No sé si me voy a entender. Al final la instrucción dice en grupo, discuta. Eh, Tiene hambre. La forma de, 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 de los canales de distribución estudiados en la lección anterior. ¿Cuáles son las ventajas y cuáles son las desventajas que usted identifica? ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Yes, ahí, le, ahí le va a ayudar Laura y Yesenia. Ay, no, teacher. Bueno, Jessy creo que también anda, anda con alergia, gripa. Sí, yo no estuve ahí. Tampoco. But we are close to... to, to Estamos to perdidas. Ay, teacher, solo Laura está para que nos enseñe ahorita. Ok, Laura. No, teacher, yo no sé. Usted le va a explicar. No, teacher. Canales de distribución. ¿De la matriz o de, lo, o de los canales de distribución, teacher? Que ahí me confundí ya. Sí, pues es que la instrucción dice clara. Discuss the distribution channel from the metric use in the previous lesson. De acuerdo a la... A, el matrix use in the previous lesson. ¿Se acuerda que hicimos un cuadrito? Ajá, que vamos poniendo yes, yes. Ah, ok, ok. ¿Cuáles serán las ventajas y cuáles serán las desventajas? Según después los siguientes conceptos que dio, teacher. Yes. Este día no va a sacar y no, y no hemos hecho nada, teacher. Sí, y, y ya se nos acabó el tiempo. <risa> 